Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys about pistons. Now, in the last episode, I did some redstone, but I didn't teach you that much about pistons. I used them as an output to demonstrate circuits, but I really didn't use them much. So, we're going to be doing some things with pistons in this episode. So, um, basically, what this is, is it, it is an arena, and it has a ready up, ready up lever, and the objective here is to say that both people have to ready up in order for the piston doors to open so that they can go at it in the arena. And that once they have both readied up, they cannot, um, they cannot, like, flip their lever back up, like, run in, flip the lever back up, and it closes again. So, we want it so that when they're both readied up, it starts the arena and it cannot be reversed unless we press a button which we're gonna put somewhere outside of the arena so um, let's get started so to do this first up we need first off we need to hook up these pistons to something so by default we don't want these to be open right because then they can go at it and we're not ready for that so we're gonna put a block here torch block torch powers this block powers these pistons here okay so this torch will power this piston this block will power this torch or this piston okay so we're going to do that on all sides here OCD okay I'm going to go like that okay so now they are closed by default the player will not be able to go through the arena um, so yeah he's gonna have to wait and we're just gonna adjust this to make our the inside look a bit nicer because those big ugly piston arms don't really look too nice okay that's good so um, it's quite a tiny space but um, this is gonna be where you put your battle stuff you know your swords bows whatever and then you have your lever right then you got the piston arms blocking it now we need to hook all this up now let's first analyze the statement we're making whenever both of these are on <clears throat> we want these doors to open but if only one of them is on we don't want any of the doors to open right so one person's ready the other's not we're not going to open the doors we're gonna wait okay so uh, we need to take output from these levers and we're gonna hook them up now there's a really good logic gate that will be able to do this for us that checks if both inputs are on it will produce an output this is called the AND gate we learned about this last episode so it looks a bit like this boom just to refresh your memory so we have one input running into this side and the other input running into this side that works perfectly so I flick this lever, this person is ready, but this person is not, so it doesn't activate this. We flick this lever, this person is still not ready, so it activates this, and it, the output doesn't activate at all. So, that was what we wanted to do. Now, we have to hook this up to the pistons, right? So, in order to hook this up to the pistons, all we really have to do is do this and we hooked it up so now what it's gonna look like is this so let's say let's say this person readies up okay I'm ready they don't open and now this person readies up okay it opened that side that's because we didn't connect the other side of the pistons yet so I'm just going to do that real quick Alright guys, so basically what I just did was I took the signal and I let it underground and it doesn't have any delay by the way and I just hooked it up to these pistons. Thankfully it reached and now it works without any delay. Both of these arms retract and I also added some blocks here to make it look nicer in the arena. So just to show you, um, let's say this person readies up, that person is ready up. As you can see, it's flawless. Now with redstone, you always have to consider what else 
you can do. Every single possibility must be considered. So that means you have to think of what every possibility happening with these levers there is. So that means that, let's say one person hit ready up, the other person hit ready up, then one person ran out. The other person decided to be a troll and stay in the space. When they saw the other person run out, they flipped the lever back up and it closed them out and then that person was just stuck out there with no one to PvP with. So that sounds pretty crappy and that's something that needs to be addressed because that could be a possibility. So to fix this, here's what we're going to do. So basically, let's analyze once again what we want to happen. So once these arena doors are open, we don't want them to be closable until someone outside the arena, uh, namely the admin or the arena master, whatever, will uh, reset it. So here's what we're going to do. We want this to be on and stay on until the button is clicked. So in order to get it to stay on, we're going to do something a bit messy, but we don't have a lot of room, so there's not much we can do. So here's what we're going to do. We want this to stay on the circuit, so we're going to put a repeater there. And then we're going to put a block there, right? And we're also going to... Let's see, can I do this? Can I lead it around? Yeah, so I just led it the other way. That way we have more room over here. So basically what it's doing is it's saying that once this is powered, it's going to uh, send the power through a repeater which sends it to this block, sends it to this redstone, and actually, I'm going to move this over here. So what's happening is basically, this redstone is reconnecting to itself, infinitely powering itself. So even if we take away the power source, it stays powered, right? And that's exactly what we want. Now we need a way of resetting it. So let's think about this. What is keeping, what is something that we can change that is keeping this circuit on? This block. If we remove this block, then the circuit will not stay on. So as you can see, if it's off and we remove this block, it's not going to stay on. So what we can do is we can do this. We can make it so that there's a piston coming from the top because we don't have much room anywhere else uh, there we go so we can make a piston there that will remove the block whenever the persons are done fighting so we're gonna add a button here now let's analyze the problem here so right here it's going to be like this because this is a sticky piston and this is how it's normally going to be by default, we want this down. So in order to do that, we just need to invert the signal. Add a button here. So a simple NOT gate or inversion will fix this problem here. So now we have ourselves a functional arena, I think. And I don't want that cactus to grow. Actually, let's improve our arena a little bit. And we're going to put this so the cactuses don't, don't grow. Okay. So there, um, now we have a little bit better of an arena. So now, um, we have all the redstone, and one of the key things you're always going to uh, need to apply to everything you build in redstone is, it's not that complicated, it just looks complicated, right? So here's something I can do also. I don't need to stretch that all the way around, I can compact it like this. You always want your design to be as compact as possible. So, uh, one thing, one lesson you always need to remember in redstone is that when, when you go to something someone's building, it can look very complicated or even impossible to understand. Heck, if I went to this build right here, somebody else built it, and I just looked at it, I would think, oh man, I'm going to have to think a little bit to understand this. But don't be afraid to analyze each part and figure out what it's supposed to do. And then, you see, all of this as a whole, it functions as a redstone arena, right? But if you break it down into parts, you can see exactly why and how it all works. Right? So this is going to be 
like the admin stage or whatever they can the keeper whatever you can see the fight when someone dies they just press this button and then it resets the arena right so just to show that it works um, fully one person readies up the other doesn't it doesn't open the doors same for this one same for the other way so they both have to ready up so once they've both readied up they run out and let's say one doesn't run out which is a possibility so a troll stays in here and then he flips this lever back nope doors are still open that person's just gonna run in and kill that troll so um, that's fixed our problem even if both are off it's still gonna keep the arena doors open and then the admin is going to be able to watch and he's going to be able to flip this lever or hit this button to reset the arena when they've killed each other right so now we have a fully functional redstone arena and I've proven it and once again I just want to reiterate that you always want to break down each piece never look at redstone as a whole because as a whole if I step back and look at the general big picture of this it is going to be confusing as heck and I'm not gonna understand it redstone is all about seeing the details seeing each part as it is and understanding what it's supposed to do so um, hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a rating comment and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Twitter Facebook and blogger to stay updated with what I'm doing so yeah guys hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more episodes goodbye